Starting out this week is the brand new album from good pals of mine, hometown heroes from my hometown of St. John's, Newfoundland. I'm talking about Hey Rosetta. Their new album, Second Sight, drops this week, and their new single, Kintsukuroi, is an interesting one. We used to give them a hard time for releasing songs that were five, six, seven minutes long, but somehow they managed to encapsulate their brilliance in just three minutes, maybe for the first time ever. The new Hey Rosetta album, Second Sight, is out this week. Up next, if you like country music, and if you don't, why don't you like country music? It is the best. Marty Stewart, the king of country music, has a brand new album out. Now this guy knows his stuff. He has Hank Williams' guitar, his suits, uh, Johnny Cash's uh, mandolins, Earl Struggs' banjos. The man is a walking encyclopedia of country music. But he uses this knowledge for good, not evil. On his new album, Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, he gives you just that. The hedonistic pleasures of a late night in a Texas saloon on Saturday night, and then having to repent with a few gospel songs on Sunday morning. It's perfect for the country music fan in your family. It's the new Marty Stewart, and it's out now. Can't seem to find a way to steady up and gain control. Rough around the edges, the devil's reaching for my soul. And finally, speaking of country music, well, kinda, Taylor Swift has a new album out. Now, she started out as a country singer, and then on her last album, dipped her toe into the pop music pool. And now for her new album, 1989, she has gone whole hog into pop music. Another change for Taylor is that in the past, you saw her write songs about her very public relationships with the likes of John Mayer and members of the Jonas Brothers. Not anymore. She's now writing songs about finding herself, about traveling, and about trying to make her own name in the music industry. Either way, no matter what you thought of her in the past, you're going to love the new Taylor Swift. It's called 1989, and it's out October 27th. All right, that's it for me this week. Well, this week's kind of strange because this is the internet. You can watch this whenever you want. You could be watching this eight years from when it was made, if the internet is still around. Either way, you can like, you can subscribe, and you can comment on any of the videos at the CBC Music YouTube channel, or just click on another tab and watch a baby monkey riding a pig backwards. We'll see you back here next week. Hey, I'm Rich Terfry, host of Radio 2 Drive. If you like what you just saw, why not share this video with a friend? And don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching, we got lots more videos. We got videos here, we got videos here. And don't forget, you can leave a comment down below.